Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to perform sentiment analysis with the R language. Sentiment analysis is a text mining technique that combines natural language processing and machine learning to assign sentiment scores to the topics, themes, or entities within a sentence or phrase. There are a number of packages that can be used for running sentiment analysis in the R language. I'm going to work with the suset and tidy text packages. For this example, I'm going to use this data that contains information about reviews for a number of restaurants so we have the data for the restaurants and then in this column reviews underscore list we have one or more reviews for some of these restaurants as a first step i'm going to take that column convert the text to lowercase and make it a table let's see an example with the suicide package first this package uses the NRC Emotion Lexicon, which is a list of English words and their association with eight basic emotions and two sentiments. The main function here is get underscore NRC underscore sentiment, which calls this NRC Lexicon and calculates the presence of those different emotions and their corresponding balance in a text dataset. Let's run that line of code. Let's take a look at the output. We can see it is a data frame with the emotions and sentiments and columns and each of the rows corresponds to each of the rows in the text dataset. We can calculate the sum by column and then we get for each of the emotions and sentiments the total count and then we can make that a data frame such that we have the counts in one column and the corresponding emotion in the second column. With this data, we can create a visualization. For example, we can make a bar plot with the emotion in the x-axis and the count in the y-axis. Note here that I am reordering the emotions based on the frequency. So the emotions are sorted in descending order based on the count value. In this text data set, most of the words represent a positive sentiment and emotions such as trust, joy, and anticipation. Now let's see an example with the tidy text package. In this tidy text package, the main function is get underscore sentiments. This function provides access to several lexicons including Bing, Affin, Lovran, and NRC. To run the sentiment analysis with this Bing lexicon, First, we apply this function on nest tokens. This function creates a one word per row dataset, as you can see in the console. Once the dataset is in this tidy format, we can join it with the sentiments in the Bing lexicon. And we are going to see for each of the words in our text dataset the corresponding sentiment as classified by the Bing lexicon. Finally, we can calculate the total count so we get the frequency for each of these words and the corresponding sentiment. So let's save that as a data frame. And we are going to see that there are 700 words. And for each of these words, we have the corresponding sentiment and the frequency. With this data, we could create a visualization, but it would be better if we just select a smaller number of words, let's say the top 10 words by sentiment. So we can take our data frame group by sentiment and then use the slice underscore max function to get only the top 10 words by sentiment that is the words in each sentiment that have the 10 highest values corresponding to their frequency for the visualization we can convert the words to factors and reorder them based on the frequency we can use the mutate function for doing that so let's create the top 10 words by sentiment data set and then we can create the visualization so we can create for example a bar plot using the geo underscore call function we will plot the words in the x-axis the frequency in the y-axis and then we can use the sentiment column for the color if we want we can separate that plot into facets as you are going to see here so we have one facet with a negative sentiment and another facet with a positive sentiment we see the top 10 words that contribute to each of the sentiments for example for the positive sentiment the most important words are good great and nice which have the highest frequency as we can see in this axis 
In a similar way, we could do the analysis with other lexicons in the tidy text package. For example, we can use the Lovran lexicon. This lexicon labels words based on sentiments that are important in a financial context. So we will do the same steps as before. We would apply the unnest tokens function. Then we will do the join with the Lovran lexicon and then we calculate the frequency for each of the words. So we can see now another table with three columns, the word in the first column, sentiment in the second column, and the frequency in the third column. We can select the top 10 words by sentiment, as we did before, and we are going to get the top words for each of these sentiments. And then we can create the visualization in a similar way, and here these are the sentiments in this lexicon so we see constraint in the tissues negative positive superfluous and uncertainty and the words that we see in each of these facets corresponds to the words that are present in the text data set that were classified with the corresponding sentiment in this lexicon here are most of the words for this data set about restaurant reviews corresponds to the sentiments positive negative and uncertainty and we can see the top 10 words that contribute for each of these sentiments. Okay, that's it for this video. I'm going to leave a link in the description in case you want to get access to the dataset and the script that I show in this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.